how to optimize the loading speed on Shopify stores. Everything besides Shopify's mandatory files is optional. I have inspected google.com, youtube.com and twitter.com and the one thing they all do is load resources only when they are necessary. Those videos are on my channel and you can check them. The below three points are the core things that can be done on a website to speed it up and you can ask them from a developer. Point number one. Load the bare minimum of code, HTML, CSS and JavaScript for each page. Most teams put most of their JavaScript file in a JS file and CSS in a CSS file. These are being loaded on all main pages whether or not you use certain components on a particular page. There are also themes and apps that depend on external plugins whose amount of code is used little. For example, they use 10% of the plugin's code but 90% is also imported. Point number two. Load the most important parts first, then the secondary ones. The first parts that are visible on the screen should load first, then secondary parts can be loaded progressively after, in order not to slow down the loading of the first part. Point number three. Start loading secondary parts after they are visible or close to be visible in the viewport. Things like images, videos or sliders that are not uh, visible on the first part can be loaded afterwards when you scroll to them or you're close to seeing them. How to choose a team or app that is optimized for speed. Usually teams and apps are being developed as fast as possible and to offer many features but haven't been optimized for the for the above three points probably because of the cost and complexity. Point number one, choose a team that was optimized for speed. Before buying a team for shop, from Shopify, you have the options to preview and try. If in the preview the team behaves fast, you can try it on your store and then have a preview. In the preview process, you can use Chrome Developer Tools, Network Tab or Lighthouse to test the speed. More details in the points below. So why not test the team right in the preview on when you see it on the Shopify team store? Because it loads it with an iframe element and it's uh, with other content from Shopify so it's not the team itself only. And if you add it on your store and then go to the preview then it's only the team's code. Point number two. Choose apps optimized for speed. There are usually multiple apps that offer the same thing and you should choose the most performant one. Test your pages before and after the installation of an app. Tools for testing a live site. Google PageSpeed Insights, you can find it on this link, and gtmetrics.com. Tools for testing a site that is not public. On Google Chrome, in the developer tools, you have the tabs Lighthouse and Network. You can find a lot of tutorials on the internet about Lighthouse and the Network tab. I've heard that there are tricks to get good scores on those tools but not in the real performance. So the ultimate test is to navigate your site like a regular user and see how it behaves. Additionally, on desktop you can open the browser's developer tools, I prefer Chrome, and select an option to simulate a low internet connection. One more metric is to use the Network tab on Google Chrome, refresh the page and look Add the info from the bottom, amount of requests, data transferred, resources data, finish time, dump content loaded time and load time. Here's info about Google, about Google Chrome Network tab. I will have these links in the description of the video. I hope you find it helpful and if you have a Shopify store and you want me to work on it, please visit this website and you can contact me and we'll discuss about your project. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.